Thank you very much for this honor, and congratulations to the awesome and resilient class of 2024 who survived COVID. Um, as you leave Grinnell for other amazing adventures, you will quickly discover, as I did, that you really never leave Grinnell. Uh, your experiences here will be part of you forever, and, and some of your professors will travel with you throughout your life. When I counsel my immigration clients, I still think of Doug Calkins, my anthropology professor, who introduced me to a world of tribes and cultures. And when wandering through an art gallery, I finally recall my art professor, uh, Richard Servine, who opened my eyes to a diversity of art and design. And when I try to make sense of the character of our recent presidents, I think of my advisor, Wayne Moyer, whose tutorial on the presidential character was my favorite class of all time. Well, we are now in the midst of one of the greatest mass migrations in history. In fact, the World Bank reports that 184 million people now live outside their country of nationality. Approximately 20% of those migrants reside right here in the United States. It is a daunting statistic. But if managed well, migration can be a powerful engine for economic prosperity here in this country as younger workers revitalize an aging US workforce and also they will shore up our ailing social security system. I have spent the last 30 years working as an immigration attorney and feel privileged to have had the opportunity to learn from so many newcomers from around the world. I've seen firsthand the positive impact immigrants have on our communities and the recurring themes of hard work, resilience, courage, moral fortitude, and boundless creativity are character traits we can all strive to emulate. From the very moment they arrive on our soil, these newcomers embrace the American work ethic, just like my client Cecilia from Honduras who has both a daytime and a nighttime job as an elder care provider. Cecilia works 80 hours per week to support herself, her two children, and a host of relatives back home. Asylum seekers like Sister Marie, a Carmelite nun from Cameroon, inspire us with their courageous acts. While acting as a poll monitor at her local voting precinct, Sister Marie bravely stood between six armed security forces and a ballot box to, in her own words, quote, protect my people's God-given right to self-determination through an election process free from corruption. She paid a very high price for defending her democratic principles, some that we take for granted here in the United States. Other immigrants share their creative and innovative skills like two brothers from a family of Serbian sculptors who created an entire line of jewelry consisting of wearable miniature sculptures. And like a Greek statistician who helped the FDA save millions of dollars by utilizing data mining to more efficiently facilitate the drug certification process. I am particularly grateful to Grinnell College for preparing me so well for my life's journey. As a senior, I conducted oral histories and research on the black experience at Grinnell during the college's first 100 years. Alumni of all ages invited me to their homes to share their personal journeys. The project turned out to be one of the most meaningful experiences of my life, as it taught me empathy for those with very different life experiences. Most importantly, it awakened me to the sheer power of oral testimony, which I rely upon in many federal immigration proceedings. This September, I will reunite with a courageous woman who I interviewed here at Grinnell more than 40 years ago. In the height of the Great Depression in 1933, when Grinnell College would only hire black women as cooks and domestics, a young woman named Edith Renfro, who grew up here in the town of Grinnell, had the audacity to, in her own words, recruit herself to attend her hometown college. And she became the first black woman to graduate from Grinnell College in 1937.
We will welcome Edith Renfro Smith back to the college at the amazing age of 110 to dedicate a beautiful residence hall bearing her name, Renfro Hall. From its very founding, Grinnell College has had a tradition of producing pioneers who unleashed forces for positive change in the world. You, my fellow graduates, will also go out into the world and make your own mark in a multiplicity of disciplines. I look forward to reading about all of your amazing adventures in the years ahead. Congratulations again to the graduates and their families in reaching this momentous day and thanks for this beautiful honor.